It's been really, really nice. First of all, like you have an excuse not to do anything. <laughs> You know, um, we so in the Chinese culture, normally it's a confinement and that moves in with you, which we did. And, um, you know, your whole family pretty much takes care of like they do all the cooking, cleaning, take care of the baby whenever you need. So it gives you time to heal and also really bond with the baby. I didn't realize how much your body takes a toll after labor. It's, you know, it's needs, re, it needs recovery. So it's been really nice. I've been eating a lot of like herbs and like different things. I don't even know what I'm eating. I don't even ask. I'm just, I just eat it, you know, but um, I'm feeling a lot better. The other thing with confinement, obviously, like, is that like you can't have any like cold wind. So there's like, don't have AC blow on you. You can't go outside. Um, in the traditional days, you can't really take showers or wash your hair for 30 days. But nowadays we, you know, obviously you can do it, but you have to do it with ginger water. Um, I get my foot soaked every night, you know, with hot ginger water. So that's nice. And at the beginning, um, it was like for the first week it was like massages every night. So it's like a home spa in a sense. Um, so it's been really nice. I'm happy that I was able to experience it. There's another like side of her I haven't seen. She's like very like, like, let me help. Let me feed the baby. Let me like, you know, hold the baby. She wants to spend time with, uh, with you know, with uh, my daughter's name is Mealy. Like, you know, kind of like my last name, but kind of combined. And um, so watching her want to spend time with her and baby talk to her and like, she plays a little music and she wants to do a little exercise with her. It's so cute. Um, since I'm the first time mom, everything's like hypersensitive to me. I'm like, there's something on her face, a little like dots. Is that okay? She had her tear dot was uh, was blocked the other day. And then, you know, her tears all gooey. And I'm like, is this okay? Oh my God, do we need to take her to the hospital? Do we need to call a doctor? You know, that kind of thing. So she's been very helpful. I think just seeing her grow, to be honest, she grew out of her first onesie yesterday. We're like, this doesn't fit anymore, you know? Um, so like, so we, uh, you know, it just, it's just nice just like how fast they grow and see her little smile every day. And I see her little, you know, feet like moving around. I'm like, oh, so that's been causing me all the <laughs> sleepless nights in my third trimester, even kicking with those feet. Um, it's just, it's so unreal, honestly. Like now, like today, like I still wake up and I'm like, Wait, I'm a mom? Like, that's crazy. Breastfeeding. It is so freaking hard. I, like, I don't know. That was the one thing that, like, I, I felt like it just supposed to be natural to you. Like, you're just supposed to, like, right after the, the baby comes out and then just, like, put it by your boob and it's, it's, like, everything's natural. It takes so much practice. Like, yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think she's going to be a natural, like, as far as like, her taste bud goes with the spicy because... <laughs> I ate spicy throughout my whole pregnancy, and I think like she's definitely already used to taste. Who knows? Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited for that. I'm excited for her to cook with my mom, and I'm excited to get her involved in our family tradition, like on her first Lunar New Year. And we, we make dumplings every Lunar New Year together. My mom, my grandma, like pretty much the whole family. So like teaching her that whenever she's old enough, and just you know experiencing our culture. I'm so excited for that and all the holidays.